Psychological fact the Pygmalion effect in action. You won't believe what happens. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the world of sharing value. In continuation with our previous video about the Pygmalion effect. Today, we're diving deep into it and the world of psychology. As you know, the Pygmalion effect. It's a phenomenon that shows just how powerful our beliefs and expectations can be in shaping our lives and the lives of those around us. So, grab a seat and let's explore the Pygmalion effect with some fascinating real-life examples. Imagine you're a teacher in a bustling elementary school, like the one in California back in the 1960s. Researchers Robert Rosenthal and Lenore Jacobson conducted a groundbreaking study at this school. They told teachers that certain students were late bloomers with exceptional potential. In reality, these students were chosen randomly, but the teachers didn't know that. What happened next was incredible. By the end of the school year, those students labeled as late bloomers showed significantly greater improvement in their academic performance compared to their peers. Why? Because the teachers' high expectations had become a self-fulfilling prophecy. They treated these students differently, providing more attention and encouragement, which in turn motivated the students to excel. This classic study by Rosenthal and Jacobson is one of the most famous examples of the Pygmalion effect in action. But it doesn't stop there. I want to share a personal story. Back in high school, I had an English teacher named Mrs. Anderson. She had this incredible way of making every student feel like they had the potential to be the next great writer. She believed in us, and it was infectious. I found myself writing more, reading more, and genuinely enjoying the subject. Her high expectations made me want to meet them, and I believe she played a significant role in shaping my writing career. Mrs. Anderson's unwavering belief in her students' potential was a prime example of the Pygmalion effect. She saw the best in us, and we, in turn, strive to live up to those expectations. Now, let's shift gears and look at the Pygmalion effect in the workplace. Suppose you have a manager who genuinely believes in your abilities and encourages your professional growth. They assign you challenging projects, provide constructive feedback, and always expect the best from you. In this scenario, you're more likely to rise to the occasion, putting in the effort and dedication needed to meet those high expectations. Your manager's belief in you becomes a driving force for your success. So, what can we learn from these examples? The Pygmalion effect highlights the incredible influence our expectations can have on ourselves and others. When we set high expectations, we can inspire those around us to reach their full potential. Just like Mrs. Anderson did for me and those teachers did for their students. Remember, it's not just a concept, it's a real phenomenon with tangible effects. By fostering positive expectations in our schools, workplaces, and personal lives, we can unlock hidden potential and achieve remarkable results. That's it for today's video on the Pygmalion Effect. If you enjoyed this exploration of psychology and want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.